Dear citizens of Story County, my name is Chris McCreary, and I am the founder of the Citizens for a Better Story County PAC. Before I continue, I'm going to assume that you are aware of the website, which contains the police reports alleging Mr. Dosen of elder exploitation, rape, insubordination, and hiring illegal immigrants. If not, I would encourage you to go to www.tonydosenpolicereports.com. For the record, I'd like to state that no candidate instructed me or dictated the desire for any such action I have taken. I would like to address you all today publicly so you may hear my motivation for creating my own PAC. However, before I do that, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a third generation small business owner. I'm a husband married to the most wonderful woman imaginable, and I have two amazing children, a five-year-old son and a two-year-old daughter. And I'm making this public statement to you today, not as a mudslinger or an agent provocateur, but as a man who is invested in this community. It's been almost a year and a half now that my family and I decided to leave California. I could list a million reasons why we left and why we chose to move to Story. However, I think it could be distilled down to one theme, wholesome. To us, Story County is a place that feels like home. Amazing neighbors that are always willing to lend a hand, a safe, beautiful place where my children could play and explore. And let's not forget about those wild creatures that roam, where a 5 p.m. traffic jam consists of a band of wild horses crossing Laustown. The decision to start this pack was not an easy one by any stretch. It's cost me many sleepless nights and a barrage of assaults on my character by those of authority within the community. That, however, was the easiest to bear. The hardest part has been losing friendships with those that I've come to know and trust. People who I know are the absolute salt of the earth and live here for the same reasons that I do. That stung the most. It was never my desire to get into politics and I prefer just to lay low but when certain rumors and allegations came about of those who the Constitution grants the highest legal authority, I became concerned. At first, I brushed it off, small town, big rumors. But as I began to dig deeper, I was deeply disturbed. I believe the final straw, so to speak, was the endorsement of Mr. Dosen's record by Jay Carmona on Facebook and the group's IO4. Jay is someone within the community who I have great respect and admiration for, a guy who gets it done and is always there to lend a hand. But when I proceeded to press Jay on these allegations, I was absolutely blindsided at the scathing derogatory response that he delivered. Mr. Carmona, you made a written endorsement for Mr. Dosen, allowing his reputation to stand on your shoulders. When confronted, you proceeded to denigrate me, stating that I was ignorant, had a forked tongue, and this was all old news. The allegations of Mr. Dosen's character now reflect upon you and your endorsement. Will you continue to deflect or will you rescind? Let me be clear, Mr. Carmona, I have no personal issue with you. I believe I can speak for the community and myself when I say, we see your hard work and dedication. Story County owes you a debt of gratitude for all that you do. And I will continue to hold faith that you will do the right thing. Mr. Dosen, with the allegations of your record, either step forward to address the community or step aside. If you refuse to acknowledge these issues, you should consider your resignation. In summary, it is my hope that I have adequately explained the events that have taken place which have led me here. I have no desire to be complicit in spreading negativity. And it is my hope that by shining light on these allegations that the good people of Story County can have the information they need to make an informed decision. To my friends that I have lost and to the people who have been afraid to speak, to quote Edmund Burke, all that is necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. I believe I have done what my conscience has called me to do. Respectfully, Chris McCreary.